Joe Edwards, you're talking about getting rid of fault, but fault to some people is very important. Uh, people break their marriage vows, they commit adultery, and their spouses resent it. Surely it's right that they should be allowed to bring a petition based on adultery or on behaviour which they can't reasonably be expected to put up with in order to establish who is responsible for the breakdown of the marriage. Resolution is very clear that blame should not form part of our divorce system. And from our members' experience, and I've practised for 20 years now, I have just seen the damage that can be done in cases where somebody does apportion blame. So by removing the ability to apportion blame, it simply means that somebody can, on a very neutral basis, agree that their marriage is at an end and progress with the divorce. Colin Hart from the Christian Institute, what do you think of that? I don't agree with it at all. It's The problem is, are, you tr are we trying to save marriages or we facilitate the divorce? So in that six-month period that Resolution are talking about, what will not be happening is provision of marriage counselling. A lot of people turn back from divorce, preventing the sorts of negative consequences that come from marriage breakdown for adults and for children. And what we should do, what society should do, is everything to help get those couples to stay together. And that's the problem with making divorce easier. What it ends up doing is leading to more divorces.